We reported yesterday that Taylor Swift was no longer a free agent. She has signed a record deal with Universal Music Group. Now in that deal, she owns the masters to all of her new recordings. The old ones are left behind at Big Machine Records. But they might not be there for too long though. Taylor could get them back. I, I, I see how this is gonna go. Touch me and you'll never be alone. Big Machine Records, the label that owns Taylor's previous six albums, is up for sale. The record company is on the market and looking to sell for between $300 and $350 million, a price tag they likely can only demand because of Taylor's impressive catalog. Universal Music Group could potentially buy Big Machine to take ownership of those masters and eventually return them to Taylor. And there's another potential way Taylor could get her masters back just by them herself. In theory, she could partner with financiers to purchase Big Machine. The label is also home to Florida Georgia Line, Reba McIntyre, Thomas Rhett, Rascal Flatts, and Sugarland, among others. I'm here on the kitchen For a full breakdown on the future of Taylor's music, head over to Billboard.com. For Billboard News, I'm Tetris Kelly.